Om Shanti. This is the Abhyak movie of 3rd of May, 1984. And the title is The First Elevated Creation of God is Brahmins. Today, the Father, the Creator, is seeing His creation. That is, He is seeing His first creation of Brahmin souls. The first elevated creation is you elevated Brahmin souls and is therefore more loved than the rest of creation. The highest creation of all through Brahma is you mouth-born creation, you great souls, you Brahmin souls. Brahmin souls are praised as even more elevated than the deities. It is Brahmins who then become angels and then deities. However, the Brahmin life is the first confluence-aged life through Adipita, the first father. The first residents of the confluence age are the Brahmin souls who are embodiments of knowledge, Trikaldarshi and Trinetri. The meeting of souls with the Supreme Soul in the corporeal form. In the corporeal world, the experience of fulfilling the responsibility of love, of all relationships, and the right to all of God's treasures is the song sung by Brahmins in the corporeal form. We saw and we attained Father Shiva through Father Brahma is not the song of the deity life. To see both fathers with your physical eyes in the corporeal world, to dine with them, to walk with them, to speak to them, to listen to them, to experience every divine activity, and to see the one without an image, and the image is the elevated fortune of Brahman life alone. It is only Brahmins who say, we saw God in the form of the father. We saw him in the form of the mother, friend, brother, and bridegroom. Rishis, Munis, Tapaswis, and scholars, and those who studied the scriptures all simply sang praise. They were left hoping for a darshan glimpse. He will come at some time. We will definitely meet him at some time. They continued to move around the cycle of many births in the hope of meeting him. However, Brahmin souls say with a sparkle, faith, intoxication, and happiness from their heart that they have found their father. They are those who are thirsty for this, whereas you are those who celebrate a meeting. Brahman life means being an embodiment of a life of all attainments that are imperishable, infinite, immovable, and unshakable. Brahman life is the foundation of this kalpa tree. It is the roots. This tree grows on the basis of Brahman life. It is through the roots of Brahman life that all variety of souls receive the water of the attainment of liberation and liberation in life from the seed. It is with the support of Brahman life that the branches and twigs grow. Therefore, Brahman souls are the ancestors of all the variety of dynasties. Brahman souls are the ones who carry out the renewal, the mohrat, of the most elevated task of the world. Brahman souls are the elevated souls who create the sacrificial fire in which the horse is sacrificed for self-sovereignty, the sacrificial fire of knowledge. Brahmin souls are those who know the horoscope 
of 84 births of every soul. Brahman souls are those who draw the elevated line of elevated fortune of all souls from the bestower of fortune. Brahman souls are instruments to take souls on the great pilgrimage of liberation and liberation in life. Brahman souls are those who perform the engagement ceremony of all souls collectively to the Father. Brahman souls are those who tie the bond of putting the hand in God's hand. Brahman souls are those who tie the bond for constant purity for birth after birth. Brahman souls relate the story of immortality and make everyone immortal. Do you understand how great and how responsible you souls are? You are the ancestors. As the ancestors, so their dynasty will come after them. You are not ordinary. You are not only responsible for your family or your service place. You are not only responsible for such limited places. You are the images of support and the images of upliftment for the souls of the world. Each Brahmin soul has unlimited responsibility. If you don't fulfill your unlimited responsibility, if you simply spend your time in just your Lokic household or a Lokic household, in sometimes having the flying stage, sometimes the ascending stage, sometimes the walking stage, sometimes the stopping stage, that is not being a Brahmin soul, but a warrior soul. Such souls constantly sing the wonder of their efforts, saying, I will do this, I will do this, and they constantly try to keep their goal. There is a difference between just continuing to aim at a target and actually hitting the target. They simply try to aim at their target. I will do this now. I will do it in this way. They continue to try to reach their target in that way. Such souls are called warrior souls. Brahmin souls don't try to hit their target. They are constantly stable on the target. They always have their goal in their intellect. They become victorious with just a second's thought. Babdada continues to watch the games of Brahmin children and warrior children. The game of Brahmins is of victory and the game of warriors is of constantly carrying the burden of the bow and error. They constantly have the bow of labor in their efforts. As soon as they solve one problem, another one arises. Brahmins are embodiments of solutions. Warriors are constantly engaged in finding a solution to a problem. In the Sakar form, Baba used to tell you an amusing story. What are the warriors doing? There is a story about this. When you remove a mouse, a cat comes. Today, there is a problem about money. Tomorrow, there is a problem with the mind. The day after that, there would be a problem with the body or with relations or connections. They constantly remain engaged in making effort. They would definitely have a complaint at all times, whether about themselves or others, seeing the children from time to time, constantly engaged in making effort for something or other. Bab Dada feels mercy for them through his merciful and compassionate form. Brahman life of the confluence age is the time for resting 
in the heart of the comforter of hearts. Sit in his heart comfortably. Eat Brahma Bhojan and drink the nectar of knowledge. Do powerful service and sit on the heart throne comfortably with pleasure. Why do you become distressed? You don't say, O oh Rama, out of distress anymore. But you do say, O oh Baba, O oh Dadi, O oh Didi, do you not? O oh Baba, O oh Dadi, Didi, listen to me. Do something. This is being distressed. This is the age to live in comfort. Have spiritual pleasure. Pass these beautiful days in spiritual pleasure. Don't just have pleasure through perishable things. Sing and dance, but don't wilt. If you don't spend time in God's pleasure now, then when would you do this? Sit in your spiritual honor, Shan. Why do you become distressed, Parishan? The father is amazed that something as tiny as an ant reaches your intellect and disturbs your intellect's yoga. Just as if an ant bites you physically, you will be disturbed and fidget with your body. In the same way, it disturbs your intellect. If an ant goes into the ear of an elephant, it makes the elephant unconscious. In the same way, Brahmin souls become unconscious and become warriors. Do you understand what games you play? Don't become warriors. In that case, you will receive a silver-aged kingdom. Whatever the golden-aged deities don't consume and is left over is then received by the warriors of the Silver Age. It is the Brahmins who are to become deities who receive the first harvest from the field of action, whereas the warriors receive the second harvest. You already know the difference between the taste of the first harvest and the second harvest. Do you not? Acha. Maharashtra and UP zone. Maharashtra has a specialty. As is the name Maharashtra, so they would present Babdada, a beautiful bouquet of great souls. The kingdom of Maharashtra is beautiful and perfect. So Maharashtra has to bring such perfect, well-known souls into contact. This is why you are told to make souls into great souls and bring a beautiful bouquet in front of the father. Now, at the end, those with all that wealth also have a part. They don't have a part of coming into relationship with you, but of being in contact with you. Do you understand? UP has the Taj Mahal, the wonder of the world, which is known here and in all countries abroad. Just as UP has the most wonderful thing in the world, in the same way, those from UP have to show the practical, visible, wonderful fruit of service. So, that you become very well known in this land and abroad and in the Brahmin world for doing something wonderful, that you are wonderful ones of the world. You have to carry out such a wonderful task simply to have Gita Patshalas and centers is not wonderful. Only when you do something that no one else has yet done. Will it be said that you did something wonderful? Do you understand? These from abroad have become ever present in every season. Those from abroad will make both fathers ever present in the world through the facilities abroad. To be present 
means they will be able to see them with these eyes. So you will make such a father ever present in front of the world. Do those of you from abroad understand what you have to do? Acha. Tomorrow, the whole congregation is going to be leaving. Eventually, they will come when helicopters will land here. All facilities are being prepared for you. Just as there will be a line, queue of Vimans in the Golden Age, so there is now a line of jeeps and buses here. Eventually, there will also be a line of Vimans. Everyone will be afraid and come here running. They will go away giving everything to you. They will be afraid, whereas you will fly. You have no fear of dying. You have already died. You saw a sample in Pakistan. All of them left their keys and went away. Therefore, you are going to receive all the keys. You will simply have to look after them. Acha, to those who put all the specialties of Brahman life into their life, to those who don't just have physical rest, but experience spiritual pleasure and spiritual comfort on the Father's heart throne, the comforter of hearts. To those who constantly maintain the elevated honor of the Confluence Age, to those who remain absorbed in love to such an extent that labor is changed into love, to such elevated Brahmin souls, Babda Dasla, Remembrance, and Namaste. Blessing, may you be a lord of knowledge and an embodiment of knowledge and with the vehicle of a divine intellect tour all three worlds. A divine intellect means a holy swan intellect. That is, it is an intellect able to distinguish between milk and water, pearls and stone, and only imbibe the pearls. This is why the vehicle for Saraswati, the confluence-aged goddess of knowledge, the embodiment of knowledge, is a holy swan. All of you are embodiments of knowledge, and this is why you are the lords and goddesses of knowledge. This vehicle is a sign of a divine intellect. With the vehicle of this divine intellect, you can tour all three worlds. This vehicle is the fastest vehicle of all. Slogan, only when there is the dharna of purity in your thoughts, words, and deeds will there be the sparkle of spirituality in your features. Om Shanti.